okay so first we're starting with uh, bio malignant form of malaria which is more serious and can even be fatal okay uh anopheles pseudomonas so malaria is caused by the plasmodium parasite and uh, here the most dangerous one is plasmodium falciparum it gives black urine yes okay, so the next the name of mary malon so mary malon was a chef and uh, given in ncrt uh, 12th class wala she's uh, the one the carrier of typhoid and cuz of her uh, she spread typhoid to a lot of people so carrier of typhoid select option which is not correct with respect to enzyme action substrate binds with enzyme at its active site to form enzyme substrate complex this is right addition of a lot of succinate does not reverse the inhibition of succinate dehydrogenase by malnutrinate uh this is competitive inhibition uh, okay malonate is a competitive inhibitor of succinate dehydrogenase yes that is correct a non competitive inhibitor cannot bind the active site of enzyme and non competitive inhibitor cannot bind the active site enzyme site wait what a non competitive inhibitor cannot bind the active site of enzyme at a site distinct um distinct from that which binds the substrate okay that question of the malonate is competitive inhibitor is the same is the same Versus the inhibition, malonate is a competitive inhibitor. Um, a non-competitive inhibitor binds to a site that is other than active site and it inhibits it, but cannot bind the active site. Uh, I think this one is correct because addition of a lot of substrate does reverse the inhibition because it's competitive, right? It's dependent on concentration. Which of the following is true about cyanobacteria? It is found in fresh water only. It may be unicellular colon filament. This is correct. uh they form bloom in non no polluted fresh water bodies so this is wrong colonies are not sir they sonobe jalakneshi this is wrong it is found in fresh water only nay it is found in lot of habitats um it may be unicellular colonial filamentous it is here uh select the incorrect statement about the organism given below okay this is uh heterotrophic in deficient sunlight autotrophic in sunlight eglena are considered mixotrophs when acting as a heterotroph it consumes food by phenocytosis no phenocytosis is the way by which uh it takes this is euglenoid so the phenocytosis is the way by which it takes uh, water not food uh, okay just 1 2 3 this is matching so um thylakoid thylakoids are the sacs in the chloroplast so 3 is one uh cisterni uh okay Thylakoids. Okay, uh, cristae are the infoldings in the mitochondria, and the remaining cristae are disc shaped sacs in the Golgi apparatus. So two, three, one. So option A. Let's see the next. Unsaturated fatty acids have high melting point. Have one or more double bond. Yes, have one or more double bond. They have a melting point. Uh, palmitic acid is not unsaturated. Stearic acid again not unsaturated. This palmitic acid C sixteen, stearic acid C twenty. Uh, unsaturated have one or more double bond. This is the best option. The rhinovirus. The rhinovirus is related to a uh, respiratory tract infection. It's the one that causes your common cold. According to transpiration pool theory, all given factors contribute to ascent of sat except. Um. Uh, Cohesion of these forces contribute vertical water uh, continuity of water column transpiration pull. Cohesion of these forces contribute continuity of water column transpiration pull contributes except for vertical water column. I think that does not contribute. In human body, blank of water occurs inside cells in intracellular water, while the blank of water is present in the extracellular fluid. Um. Hmm. We have. Plasma, fifty five percent. Plasma fifty five percent, meaning forty five percent is cellular component. I'm wondering if it's sixty or forty. Plasma is fifty five percent. I think it's mostly forty five fifty five. Okay, I'm not reviewing. The birds of Galapagos Islands are yes. Ah, uh, they are. This is example of Darwin speciation. So they can be anything: cactus eating, insect eating, seed eating. Select the incorrect matching from following options. Okay, um, maize uh, valisneria is water pollinated. Yucca is wind pollinated. 
This is Valis Scenario. Valis Scenario is an aquatic plant. It is water pollinated. Yucca. Yucca is wind pollinated. Salvia makes sense for it. A salvia. Insect. Uh, I don't know this one. It's my. I'm thinking salvia should not be insect pollinated. Well, this is my favorite. We'll come back to that. Which of the following is incorrect? Basal part of ovule is called as micropyle. Mm, I thought it was shalaza. Double fertilization characteristic of angiosperms. Double fertilization. No, oh, I thought it's triple fertilization. Double fertilization is not an option. Pollinated to apical growth, and this is correct. Uh, Double fertilization discovered by notion. Double fertilization is characteristic of antispermatous triple fertilization because three and basal part of ovule is called as micropyle. No ovule, ovule couples part Okay, basal part of ovule is called as micropyle. Let's see. Of the ovule is absent in. Ovule is absent. Ovule is present in angiosperms. It present in gymnosperms. It's absent in pteropods. Camouflage helps organisms learn learning, so they can escape predators. Which of the following example of camouflage? Bacteria growing on penicillin medium, lichen thing on trunk of trees, darn pinches of Galapagos, and Biston vetulerium moths of England. Mm. Darn pinches are not example. Bacteria growing on penicillin medium not example. Lichens growing on the trunks of trees. Uh, yeah, this I think they uh, because during the industrialization, what happened is uh, during industrialization they changed colors or something. Okay, but Bishon Bethlehem moths. Okay, but I think Bishon Bethlehem moths, they did uh, like in your uh, England, industrialization led to these moths. They become more darker colored so as to hide from, as well as to hide with the light, moths, which are dark. Most of the following sexual reproduction is Uganda's type, uh, accompanied by complex post fertilization development. This is an example of your red algae. Red algae is Eulothrix. See the next. Whoa, 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 whoa. Which of the following is the correct match? Darwin was to Galapagos Island on HMSP. Rules for nomenclature given by certain organizations, you know, it's so not a rule for naming an organism. Biological names should be in Latin. The first word represents genus, second is specific epithet, the name is in the one. The names are to be underlined together with epithet. No, they should be underlined separately. So you should underline the gene separately and the species separately. Virus replicate inside a living cell. A procedure in which sperm is directly injected into ovum, intracytosplasmic sperm injection. Artificial insemination is when you inject it into uh, the female. Which of the following is an example of a modified adventitious root? Uh, turnip, carrot, these are not examples of adventitious uh, root. Sweet potato. I think that's your ipomia or dahlia. Dahlia, I guess, since it's a sweet potato. Which of the following contraceptive protects the user from contracting STDs and AIDS? These are condoms. Uh, which organ is oval in shape, has a dense covering, and lies in extra ground pouch, having 2 to 2.5 degrees Celsius, lower temperature. This is your test it lies in the scrotal sac. Uh, select the incorrect statement for following vascular cambium and cocambium are examples of lateral Mary stems. This is correct. In dicot stems, endodermis is referred to as starchy. This is also correct. Dicot root vascular cambium is completely primary in origin. I don't know about that. Bark refers to all tissues outside of the vascular cambium. It's not technical. This is correct. Uh, I think in dicot root, we have both primary as well as secondary. Like it can be derived from both tissues. In uh, 
grasses, certain adaxial epidermal cells along the veins, water vessels, and large empty collagen cells. These are called bulliform cells. Uh, which of the following is not a macromolecule present in acid insoluble fraction? Technically, lipids are not macromolecules, but they're still present inside. Right? Because they're not, they're not considered as macromolecules because they have a really low weight. The region outside of the 71st tubules is called interstitial place and it has blood vessels, lytic cells, which secrete your testosterone, uh, and the androgens, and it's also called interstitial place. So, uh, all of the above. Which of the following cell organelles has the electron transport system? Uh, mitochondria, obviously. And uh, it's related to degradation of food, no, it's related to synthesis of food. It's related to oxidation of carbohydrates. I don't think mitochondria could. Okay, 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 okay. I got it now. Uh, sorry, because it could be mitochondria, so it leads to oxidation carbohydrates. And this question also leading to, uh, like, talking about uh, since the electron transport system is also present in the chloroplast, so organelles with synthesis of food is chloroplast. So, A and B both. Uh, metaphase two of meiosis differs from metaphase one in possessing. Differs. Um, well, it has same number of chromosomes or different. Okay, so let's say we start with, uh, let's say we start with six chromosomes, which are basically three homologs. Okay, so this our cell metaphase one. We have uh, six uh, in metaphase one. How many chromosomes do you have? We have six chromosomes and okay. In metaphase two, now we'll only have three, three chromosomes. Okay, half the number of chromosomes and same number of covetids. No, half the number of chromosomes, half the number of covetids, obviously. Mm, we'll just mark this for you. The male sex axillary duct includes, yeah, vasoferens, you have vasoferens, epididymis, all this. Oh, what? So the next, in eukaryotic cell cycle, during which phase of the cell cycle, the synthesis of histone proteins occur? Synthesis of histones. Um, prophase and telophase, these are all examples of your M phase, so it won't be an M phase. Uh, most likely your synthesis of histone proteins. Uh, histone proteins because synthesis occurs in S phase. S phase is also where the replication of the DNA occurs. The following is incorrect regarding mitochondria. It is side of anaerobic aspiration, wrong, the outer membrane can smooth, wrong. Wait, wait, wait. Inner membrane, mitochondria multiply by a fission like division. This is correct. Uh, it's not a set of anaerobic respiration. Matrix possesses a single double sided circular DNA molecule. This is correct. Uh, our membrane contains smooth. This is correct. It has uh, the inner membrane is what has crystallized. Sorry, I made a mistake. Set of anaerobic respiration. Huh? This is wrong. Which of the following increases calcium level parathormone? Uh, this is an obvious question. Apical dominance in plants is caused by uh, apical dominance in plants. Oh, okay, so <clears throat> apical dominance means that the apex, uh, whatever goes towards the apex, like the bud that goes towards the apex, that, that is considered to be favored to grow. So it's due to concentration of the auxins in the terminal bud. Like continued vertical growth. Uh, statins lower the blood cholesterol level by... Uh, Competitive inhibition, uh, this is technically not a part of need, but in uh, in MBBS, we learned that statins, they bind to HMG coenzyme A reductase, which is essential for cholesterol synthesis. So they bind to coenzyme A reductase and it's competitive inhibition. How many following hormones are synthesized by pituitary gland? Okay, pituitary gland, growth hormone is correct. Prolactin is correct. Thyroxine is not synthesized by this. Aldosterone, uh, aldosterone. Okay, since that's N secreted. Uh, luteinizing hormone, correct. Follicle stimul. Oh, okay, wait. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, four. Is there? Is this an option for five? No, there's no option. Okay. So growth hormone is one. Prolactin is one. Uh, luteinizing hormone is one and follicle stimulating hormone is one. Thyroxine, similar to thyroid gland, and uh, aldosterone is not secreted here because aldosterone is 
because aldosterone is actually secreted by the hypothalamus and then it's secreted it's synthesized in the hypothalamus and then secreted but here it's saying synthesized and secreted so whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. okay <laughs> sorry uh, which of the following isotopes are used in Hershey Chase? Radioactive sulfur, radioactive phosphorus. So radioactive sulfur, radioactive phosphorus. Uh, let's see. Mm, which one is radioactive phosphorus here? Um, radioactive sulfur. Sulfur for weight is 32. 31, so I think it's mostly these three. So radioactive. And two under the individuals or larger parts, the performance of one hybrid is often superior to its parents. This phenomenon is called as heterosis because here the heterozygote is said to be more uh, advantage, uh, more mm, feeble. Who noted that the behavior of chromosomes was parallel? To the behavior of genes and uses chromosome movement to explain to the Mendel's laws. Uh, Sutton and Bovary, no. T. H. Morgan, he studied houseflies. For making GMO, which of the following steps is mandatory? This is, I guess, a genetically modified organism. So first, we have to maintain to the introduced DNA to host, transfer of DNA to progeny, introduction of DNA to host, identification of DNA with the gene. These are all examples of. Genetic engineering this comes in biotech chapter. The gonadotropin releasing hormones which stimulates the release of gonadotropins. So gonadotropins, uh, LH, FSH from the pituitary gland. Yes. Which of the following processes both the DNA strands are transcribed? Not in PCR, PCR is replication, RNA piercing, no. Southern blotting, DNA replication, DNA replication, no. PCR, no. RNA interference, uh, RNA interference. Yeah, because when DNA is being transcribed into your RNA, that is technically an example. Southern blotting. Mm, southern blotting. It's not, that's not transcription. No. That's that's your DNA hybridization technique. Golden rice. Okay, golden rice. It's a transgenic variety having the beta, need for beta carotene. It's good for vitamin A. Of the total incidence coloration, the proportion of for uh, the photosynthetic reactive radiation, it's about less than 50%. Which of the following statements are correct? Yes, this is your zoology time. Uh, how many of the following images are correct? The myelinated nerve fibers are enveloped with Schwann cells. Yes, it's correct. Unpol unipolar neurons have a cell body with only one axon, with one axon only. What about neurons are found in the cerebral cortex? Uh, yeah, one is correct. One, two, no, one and three are correct. The post-synaptic the post -synaptic neurons are filled with neurotransmitter coating vesicles. Uh, I mean, both neurons are filled with it, but I think here the presynaptic neurons filled with neurotransmitter coating vesicles, and then the post-synaptic neurons receive that. Okay. I think four is wrong. One and three are correct. Beautiful neurons have cell body with one axon only. Uh, this makes sense, but technically there's nothing with only one axon. This is why I call pseudo unipolar. Uh, but yeah, two are correct. One, two, three. The four characteristics of China rose. Okay, this it's been a long time since I've tried, but China rose is hypogynous, which means the uh, ovary is inferior with imbricate or twisted estivation. I don't remember this estivation. Um, valvate is it twisted? Okay, it is hypogynous and all that. Um, China Rose, I guess, has China Rose, I guess, has a valvate or imbricate. We'll come back for this, but oh god, okay. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, B is twisted. So A is uh, non overlapping. B is D is your valvate imbricate. Okay. Valvate imbricate is seen in calotropis, I guess. D is three. Valvate imbricate is seen in calotropis. 
different. Is it not? Yeah, Ballard and Magritte is seen in Calatropus. I guess Cathy and Calatropus. So based on that, we should be able to answer this as well. So uh, D is three Calatropus, C is two P. Okay, this is, I guess this is your twisted. That makes sense. And B is, so since P and China Rose are twisted technically, uh, is is four cos APM. Oh, it's been a while. So I think this is twisted then, yeah. The microbe that produces root nodules on the roots of Alnus. Microbe that produces root nodules on Spankia. I took someone else's right APM. And then the back there. Alnus. Alnus. Uh, this is Frankia, like Frankia is the one that produces the on now. This is an NCRT example. The point where the optic nerve enters the retina is called blind spot. How many of the following streams are Polysaccharides are present in acid insoluble pool. Yes, protein is a homopolymer. No, proteins are hydropolymers. In a polypeptide chain, the last amino acid is called, no, it's called C-terminal acid. Uh, the tertiary structure is absolutely necessary for many biological apps. Yes, it's necessary. So two are correct. One, the first and fourth. HMM and LMM are found in myosin filaments. Uh, how many of the following respiratory reactions occur in the cytoplasm of the eukaryotic cell? Okay, so we have to check for glycolysis here. Uh, glycolysis, sex, uh, PGAL is converted to 1, 3 di PGA. Yes, one is correct. Two is example of the L contactor chain doesn't occur in the cytoplasm. So any option which has two is wrong. So third option is wrong. P, P to pyruvate that occurs. So one, four should be there. So this is mostly the answer. Uh, Dr. Swansea, this is also a present cytoplasm. Pyruvic acid to acetyl coenzyme occurs in the mitochondria. So next. Uh, long day plants produce flowers when they are exposed to. Uh, long day plants, they produce flower when they're exposed to. Uh, like here, so here longer plants produce flowers are exposed to any random duration of light, no light period longer than a critical. Yeah, so if you have a critical day length of, uh, let's say it's eight hours, like they take longer than that and then they start flowering. Short day plants are shorter than the critical day length. So second option. Um, the best material for demonstrating streaming movements of protoplasm within the cells. This is your... Uh, this is in Tetascantia. So the we're trying to see the movement of the the chloro the chloroplast. So which one has the chloroplast? Uh, obviously in the roots there'll be no chloroplast. Uh, pit cells of angiosperms, uh, onion peelings. I guess terminal hairs would be the best option. In the hatch and slack cycle, the enzyme required to convert pyruvate into pep. Uh, hatch and slide cycle, that is hatch and slide cycle, that is your C4 pathway. And by the way, in the cut side of it. Pep carboxylase, pep dicanase, pep, pep carboxylate. Uh, yeah, subcarboxylase converts something else. Uh, I'll come back to this one sec. Okay. Uh, which of the following events does not take place after the degeneration of generative cell in pollen grain? Only triple fusion, but not syngamy. Either entry of pollen to uh, tube inside the sac. Which of the following events does not take place? <clears throat> so there's there's syngamy, and uh, so obviously there's entry of pollen tube inside the embryo sac. Fertilization occurs only to perfusion, but not syngamy. What? Why would that? Happen? Which of the following events does not take place? So fertilization does take place, right? So in either entry of pollen tube, then this is wrong. Which of the following examples is not okay? Imperfect fungi deuteromycetes. 
So examples of altered area, trichoderma, trichoderma is not deuteromycetes. Wait, no, claviceps, colletotricum. Okay, colletotricum, trichoderma, and altered area, deuteromycetes. Claviceps is not an example of deuteromycetes. Uh, I think that is it. Uh, read the following. Okay, E. coli cloning vector PBR 322 has several restriction sites, ORI, antibiotic resistant genes, and uh, replication of plasma. That makes sense. Uh, competent bacterial cells cannot take up for DNA. That's wrong. They do take up for DNA. So, if Q is not there, so all senses correct is wrong. Uh, only, uh, okay. only three is correct is wrong. So in illusion, the separate bands of DNA color average are accepted from GLPs. Yes, three is correct. So one and three are correct. Uh, the downstream processing and quality control testing very compatible. So except for two, all of it. The life cycle pattern of spermatophytes. Spermatophytes? Spermatophytes. Uh, haplontic, diplontic, diplohaplontic, haplodiplontic, I guess. Diplontic. Okay, spermatophytes are seed bearing plants. So, so the life cycle. Okay, so, so these are your seed bearing plants. Right? Happily diplontic are present in uh, your teratophytes. Uh, and okay, so diplontic. The maximum absorption of water without the influence of ADH takes place at uh, max absorption of water takes place at the PCT. Uh, with the influence of ADH, it takes place at initial conduct. 60 to 80% water is absorbed here. PCT. In India, the Air Act came into force in okay, 1981. MCRT line. Uh, the ventricles relax and the ventricular pressure falls, causing the closure of semi lunar valves the above are related ventricle systole is contraction ventricle dial stole is correct ventricular failure uh ventricular failure hmm, i don't think ventricular failure may have this closure so just ventricular dial stole yes. which of the following enzymes can cut tet r site of 30 second resistance site of PBR three point two. Okay. Um. So we should know which. Uh, which. Uh, which restriction sites are present for the second resistance? So PVU one, PST one. It's not PVU two. It's not EPR one. So the options are between PVU one and PST one and damage one sample. Uh, I think for ampicillin resistance, it's PVU one, PST one, and for tetracycline resistance, it's damage one sample one. Or is it the other way around? I think it's PV1, PST1. Okay. So. PV1, PST1, I guess is. Okay. So the mark, choose the number of deployed structure from the following. Uh, pollen grain, deployed, new cell is, is deployed, perisperm, perisperm is not, perisperm is okay deployed, endosperm is not deployed, it's deployed, uh, embryo sac deployed, megaspore, MMC is deployed, megaspore is not deployed. So wait, so what? Pollen grain, one, new cell is two. Perisperm three, endosperm not deployed, embryo sac deployed, MMC deployed. So I'm getting five here. MMC deployed. So five, one, two. Embryo sac is hap. Embryo sac is haploid. Right? Yeah, embryo sac is haploid. So pollen grain. Pollen grain, new cellus, one, two. The okay, pollen grain, okay, okay. Pollen grain is haploid, new cell is deployed. New cell is deployed, perisperm deployed, embryo uh, MMC deployed. 
Nicellus is also deployed. So one, two, three, uh, embryo sac, embryo sac, four. Answer is four, I guess. The average lifespan is the highest for uh, RBC, WBCs. WBCs are really short span, so it's RBC, RBC, 61, 20 days. A sexual method of reproduction is the common method of reproduction in all plants, no. Algae, fungi, animals, no. Algae and bifida, algae and fungi. Algae and bifida. The presence of continuous phenotypic variation in a few generations as I said the character shows. Continuous phenotypic variation or uh, polygenic inheritance. Evil quartet is related to causes of biodiversity loss. The partial pressure at the site A alveolar of lung. Okay, so alveolar of lungs mates 104, oxygen of lungs mates 95. Which of the following structures does not have cartilage? Tachy has cartilage drinks. Everything except for the tumble bunkers. Which of the following is the correct representation of the three levels of biodiversity? Genetic diversity, species diversity, and ecological diversity. Mammals from Kolkata and they have this is an uh, example of Allen's food. Glisten's capsule forms a covering of liver. Which of the following is known as lungs of planet Amazonian rainforest? Contribution of CO2 CH4 in the greenhouse effect. Oh, wow. Okay. So uh, CH4 is 20. CH4 is 20. And CO2, okay, CH4 20, there's only these two options. And 80% is not the chance to CO2 CH4. Which of the following is abundant connective tissue of body? Aerial connective tissue beneath the skin. Photolysis of water is associated with PS1, PS2, PS2. PS1 is an encyclic photophosphorylation. Which of the following mechanisms of inheritance may be genetically similar to that of a female? Which of the following? It's not y linked, it's not haplodiploidy. X, 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 O. X, X, O. Okay, uh, come back to this. Which of the following mechanism helps to exhale air out of the lungs? So relaxation, um, uplifting of sternum, exhale air, right? Exhale air. Relaxation of diaphragm is one. Contraction of external intercostal muscles. No, they relax. There's no contraction. Uplifting of sternum. Now, in deployed in dihybrid cross A B B and A B B F two progeny of A A B B all occurs in the ratio of um, A B. I think it's you're getting. Mm. That would cost off. Okay, so we have to check the number of gametes we get. We get A, A, B, B. Uh, what are your gametes? You are only getting A, B type gametes, and you are getting B. Okay, okay, okay. This is okay. F two progeny. So F one progeny, we get our dihybrid. A, A, B, B, and then once you cross two diabetes together, you get a uh, ratio of nine is to three is to three is to one. That's your phenotypic ratio. The organism can be divided into two similar halves by passing a plane at any angle along central axis is radial symmetry. Which of the following forms a major part of tooth and is covered by enamel? Dentin. Margins of septals overlap up but not in any particular direction. This is called a twisted. Valvate and imbricate are the same thing. Vexillary is not yet. Uh, 
which of the following organism does not follow the central dogma? Central dogma, HIV, they go reverse transcription. Yeah. Yeah. Mono adelphus stamen is observed in which of the following? Uh, China rose is diadelphus, citrus is also diadelphus, brinjal is not there, so it's mustard. Which of the following characters unique to tusk shell? Tusk shell is ech echinodermata. So here they have a bottomacular system. Uh, visual hump is present in mollusca, so that's wrong. Radial symmetry is present in echinodermata, coenocytes. Oh, okay. So bottomacular system is, sorry. <laughs> they said unique, so bottomacular system. Uh, which of the following microbes used to produce Swiss cheese commercially? That is your propanobacter shermani. Mm, okay, so here we know Aspergillus gives acetobacter city gives us acetic acid, so D5. Okay, as Aspergillus knife gives us uh, citric acid. So C3, D5. C3, D5 is only the fourth option. A2, Clostridium gives us butyric acid. Butylicum, Clostridium, Butylicum, Butylic acid. Saccharomyces cerevisiae gives lactic. So, oh, sorry. Uh, the oh, 80th question. After D5. Okay, okay. Okay, sorry, these two have lactic acid is given by lactobacter. Oh, but okay. Saccharomyces service. Oh, yeast is used for alcohol. Okay. Huh. Well, there are only 18, 18 questions in the world. What about chemistry? 91. The repressor of lac operon is synthesized from IG gene inhibitor gene. 89th question. Energies of orbital. And also in orbitals, may like uh, the same, if they have the same end, all energies will be uh, similar in hydrogen atom. Okay. 91, which has maximum dipole moment. So here, this one, this one gets cancelled. First option may CLCL CL, uh, uh, in the paddock position get cancelled. Uh, so first and third are wrong. The best one would be your second option. And here, the fourth option may it completely gets cancelled. Zero dipole moment. Third option, zero. First option, B, uh, a weak dipole moment. In 91, we have the max. So in octahedral crystal field, the T2G orbitals. So your T2G are lowered and your E2G are above. So the lowered energy by 0 0.4 delta epsilon. T2G has three uh, orbitals in them. In the reaction, CO2. Um, for addition of aqueous acid, yeah, it's called as. So here we get uh, uh, as uh, here we get uh, mm, we get benzene with C uh, COH attached, and it's example of cold bees reaction. On prolonged exposure to air, uh, sodium finally changes to a hydroxide. First, it becomes oxide, and then with moisture, converts to hydroxide. The hydration energy of Mg2 plus is larger than that of, uh, it's not larger than that of, oh, okay, so it's not larger than that of K plus. Na plus is larger than that of Mg2 plus is larger than that of Al3 plus. So this is not under what conditions will a pure sample of an ethyl gas not only exhibit a pressure of one atm but also a concentration of one mole per liter? Okay, so we can do the formula of PV is equal to NRT. So we want to know what conditions. Uh, pressure here is one atm, but you have to convert that uh, into the one atm into one liter is equal to. N, which is how many moles? 
one into R zero point zero eight two into temperature T. Uh, one by one, one by one by twelve, because one by oh, so here the trick is zero R zero point zero eight two. You can take as one by twelve. Uh, that's one what our teacher told us. So T is equal to twelve Kelvin. One two dim one two dibromopropane when heated with zinc dust in ethanol will give us propene. Yeah, propane. This is example of uh, elimination reaction. E two, I guess. The electrical resistivity of a semiconductor increases the temperature. The load increases with increases temperature. Uh, for conductors, it increases with temperature, whereas for semiconductor insulator, it decreases with temperature. The following is not true about potassium. The first option is correct. It's an aqueous solution, basic in nature. It is in dying industry, yes. And heating it melts in its water of crystallization. I guess the fourth option is true. Lead is only slightly attacked. Dilute hydrochloric acid because PBO2 film is formed, which resists to your chemical attack. PBO2. PBO2 or PBO? I think it's PBO2 only. PBO2 film is formed, the oxide film. In the above reaction, P and Q respectively are. Okay. So, CHC MBR, here we have a Grignard's reagent. Very nice question. Uh, CH3 attack, OH, uh, CH3, CH3. Uh, so P is uh, the second, uh, P is, oh, okay. So we have two options for available. Uh, I think the option is, best one is third. Because when you have treated to H2O, OMGBR gets converted to hydroxide. The order of increasing size of atomic radii. So this is O, O, S, S, E, T, P, O. So atomic radii increases on the uh, group. Arsenic. 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 Okay, we'll come back to this later. Aqueous mixture at room temperature 0 0.1 molar with respect to ammonium chloride and 0 0.01 molar with respect to NH4OS. PKB of aqueous ammonia is the base, but the pH of mixture is nearly. Okay, we'll come back to this later. Okay, equilibrium function is given. Okay, CO2. So here, uh, we're considering one mole. We're starting with one mole, right? So, uh, C. So if you're giving some C mole, uh, blank, blank. So you have C minus C alpha, alpha, alpha by two. K is equal to. Oh no, we're saying this is one minus alpha, right? If we're assuming that, okay. Uh, alpha into alpha by two, uh, one by two root and divided by one minus alpha. Since alpha is very, very small than one, we can take it as one by alpha is one. So alpha into uh, square root of alpha by two. So this is nothing but alpha three power by two by root two. Which of the following is the ratio of anion size to cation size have the smallest value?
<clears throat> turn acl and abr not acl the option should be mgcl too because as we go down I mean, I will go across the period, the size decreases. When third butyl alcohol is here, with see you at 573 Kelvin, it forms. Third butyl alcohol. C, C, C. You get a alkene. Mm, which reagent is this? Uh, sodium, kaochin ethanol, sodamide, zinc dust in ethanol. Okay, so it's not sodium. It's not so. Uh, it could be sodium and NH2. Kaochin ethanol, this doesn't seem like an option, zinc dust in ethanol. It could be zinc dust in ethanol as well. Um, but I think we treat it with soda mine. That's it's an oil. Okay. Okay, this is a new other question. Oh, okay. Copper metal has a specific heat of 2.385 joule per ton. Is that less than a melting point of? Okay, we'll come back to this later. See if we have any other questions. Um, XeF4 is used as a fluorinating agent. It has octahedral. Oh, XeF4 does not have octahedral shape. That is wrong. So that though, which of the following has which of the following two compounds have the least mass of oxygen? CO2, NO2. Uh, CO2, 4.4 grams. So that is one by tenth mole. NO2 is 1 by 20th mole. Uh, H2O2 is 1 by 5th mole. And SO2 is 1 by 4th mole. No, 1 by, one by 4th? No, 1 by 40th. So here, your best of my is least. So one by one by tenth more. So here they all have the same amount about to sixteen grams if it considered as one mole. So I think your best option would be second and fourth. See our atom, the number three D electrons having spin quantum number s is equal to plus one by two r. Uh well in CR atom. It has 3d5. Five electrons are having I see the positive spin. This since it's on 3d5. Upwards, spin, positive upwards. Spin. Uh, gold is excited by making two sodium cyanide complex. The cyanide complex is, well, gold has two. I think in this, it has a plus. As, as far as I remember, it has a plus four, plus three state. Or plus one state. I guess it has plus one state. Plus one state. So it's a pseudo halide. See an actual pseudo halide. Um, what is this? The products of the interaction creates your internal power concentrated B. So I have to see which one's this which one gets added on. Uh I think your answer should be like C O minus will get formed and that will attack and <clears throat> Which would be this PHC O C H. I don't remember the exact reaction mechanism, but PHC O minus gets formed and it attacks here, converting this into CH two OH. Damn. 
M three H. Okay, I do not remember. Ah, uh, this M three minus gets added. Yeah, N three minus gets added, so it becomes N C with the uh, X. X upon heating will get CH three. So Y would be CH three CH two and C. And when you're adding that to water, it's CH two and H two. One more water from the vapor. One more water is con. To convert to vapor at its burning point, hundred Celsius, and at in state changes, uh, in state changes, in state changes, you're free. Like delta G is equal to zero in state changes. The entropy of course changes, and there is some heat of enthalpy, but the state changes here. It's an equilibrium change. Uh, two to three, you can known as interacting. This is correct. Add a form is anticipated. Boric acid is anticipated. Yeah, four is correct. Mm -hmm. How much time is required for complete decomposition of formula water using current of four amperes? Uh, e use the formula E is equal to ZQ, E is equal to Z. I T four mole of water. Uh, Z is given by ninety six thousand five hundred by N. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Equal and master. E is equal to that. Equal to mass. How much do you want to convert for more? Let's mm, talk uh, and Z factor. Let's talk about Z factor. How many electrons does it take? I think it takes four electrons, right? Does it not? It does take it, so it's four into you want to degrade four moles into okay. H2OCA is not four electrons, H2OCA is and factor H2O is two, I guess. So 96 divided by two into four, four moles into I, which we are trying to find out. And you know, I, we already have four amperes into T. Is equal to E. When six thousand five hundred by two into four into four, the time T is equal to nine six thousand five hundred. Time t is equal to uh, thirty thousand five hundred. Doesn't make sense. It's more than that. Yeah, and factor is two. Uh, on thirty thousand five hundred by two. Thirty thousand four hundred by two, and you're trying to convert it into four moles. Okay, so two to cancel ninety six thousand five hundred into two. Kitna? Oh, to one point nine three double five. Yeah. You use E is equal to Z Q formula. The pH at the equivalence point of a titration may differ from seven because of. Ah, uh, equivalence titration may differ from seven because of. Sulfonization of H two. Sulfonization of H two. 
leads to more formation of course and so on. But to the uh, what type of ester is this? What type of polymer is this? Polyamide to nahi hai, polyester to hai. D glucose and D fructose can be differentiated by bromine water, nahi, tolerance reagent. Because fructose reducing glucose is not the same. So we can check the reducing test. So BR1 tolerance reagent is, I guess, a reducing scaling solution is a reducing test. Benedict's test so may deduct reduce card effect. I think your failing is best option glucose and fructose. Fructose is a reducing sugar. What's the failing solution to this? Tolerance agent uses AGNO3 AG. But I don't know. Okay, chemicals are responsible for communication between neurons and muscles are not as. Uh, nothing else. Okay, okay. Messengers. 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 In which case do we have the most steric hindrance? I can say is this. The reaction of ethyl P-amino benzoate with HNO2. Ethyl P-amino benzoate. Ethyl P-amino Reaction of ethyl paramino benzoate. Benzo paramino benzoate. What is the CH three? CH two. CH two and H two. One mole of the phenomenon of breaded oxygen gives out 73 kilojoule mole per mole heat. One mole of oxygen. One mole of methanol. Whoa, 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 whoa. Color of I2 solution is discharged when X is added. What is X? Let's show so for how CHI is formed. Oh, sorry. Um, which of the following compounds will not react with CHI? Come on. One mole of methanol. CH3OH, one burnt in oxygen, O2, we get CO2 and H2, obviously. You balance the reaction. So um, here we have four H's, so we want obviously the 2H2O. That will give rise to how many oxygens? O2, O2. Four oxygens, and we have only one here. So we want three by two here. Right? Three by two. So we're using three by two oxygen when we want to methanol. For burning one mole of ethanol, we are using three by two moles. But if only one mole is used, how much? So into two by three, we have to do it. Into two by three. Ito one two forty one into two four eighty two. 
he which of following compounds will not react with ethanolic KCN? Okay, substitution makes sense. C H C H two C L. Uh. Hmm. Um. C C C H two C L will react. Let's mark for this video next. Here comes the complex ion, okay, but is not, but not with alkaline and alkyl solution, but not in acidic solutions. Why is that the case? Um, yeah, this makes the most sense. In acidic solutions, and H four plus is formed, and so on in coordination with the H plus ion, so. In aluminothermite process, aluminum acts as uh, aluminothermite, aluminum acts as oxidizing agent. Fe2O3 convert HOVA. Which of the following catalytes of nitrogen behaves as the weakest base? So, uh, NF3 is the strongest acid HOVA. So, weakest base NF3. Trialites there. Base may we want to have so for base it should be able to donate its electron pair, right? And NF3 has really weak type of moment, so it should be NF3. Mixture of 100 ml of oxygen and 100 ml is reacted for one over the maximum theory. Decrease in volume at 25 degrees Celsius. Mm. 2H2 plus O2 gives rise to 2H2. Uh, here we are. Here we're giving 100 ml of oxygen per 100 ml of oxygen and 500 ml of hydrogen. So for 100 ml of oxygen, how much, uh, how much H2 will we have required? 200 ml. So in the 600 ml gases form, out of that 100, uh, out of that 100 ml of O2 is being used up, and 200 ml of H2 is being uh, is being used up. So 300 ml of H2 is the only one which remaining. So 300 ml is decreasing volume. So following has max boiling point. Um, I guess you can answer this question on the basis of coordination comp like this is coordination complex. So it will have a higher boiling point as compared to the others. Uh, the following reaction is called as oh okay 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 uh, Hoffman bromamide reaction I guess it's not co-elimination of Beckman reaction it's either Hoffman bromide reaction or Hoffman elimination. Okay, this is Hoffman elimination I guess. Which NR3 is formed? Hoffman's elimination or cope elimination? It's not a Hoffman bromide. I think it's Hoffman elimination. Uh, exhaustive methylation process in which NCH3 taken thrice gets finally eliminated. Hoffman elimination. Oh, it's been such a while since I've done this example, except for glycine, which is like all amino acids present in the proteins. Archidal Britishemic. What?
which configuration do they have with their alpha carbon? L amino acid, L alpha amino acid. The orbital frequency of an electron in hydrogen atom. How do we find frequency? Well, we know that radius like to proportional to n cubed by z squared. Mm, basis of this, we can find it. Frequency to uh, how is frequency proportional to radius? Well, time. Mm. To make one revolution, how much time? Mm, velocity v, no. Velocity v is equal to 2 pi r by t. Uh, t is equal to 2 pi r by v. Frequency is nothing but 1 by t. So v by r. Uh, and for v, you know, it's inverse proportion. It's z by n by n. It's uh, inverse proportion n. It's always like proportion n cubed by z squared. So, ye to kya hoga z. Z to upar ho chayegi. And to niche. Hmm. V by R, V is R by N, R is N cube by Z squared. Orbital frequency to getting N cube by N, getting N squared, but answer to name. Hmm. Think. We'll come back to this later. Um, after we finish this, which of the following bonds has highest bond energy? Ye to O O ki hoga highest. Yeah, I guess this is all your physics. Okay, physics may there's 50 questions, no 40 questions. Give or take. Okay, so we have enough time for physics. I just want to review some questions here. So orbital frequency of an electron in hydrogen atom. Mm. Let's see, Z by M. Getting, oh, uh, I'm getting t is equal to 2 pi r by v, right? Okay, so 1 by n of that, 1 by n, 1 by t, so, so t is equal to 2 pi root r by 2 pi r by v, so v by r. Okay, uh, now you know mvr is equal to nh by 2 pi. Okay, okay, I think I got it. So, and you also know that uh, centripetal force kz e squared by r squared is equal to mv squared by r. So, okay, and then divide the two. Mm, no, we'll come back to there. Can you square by R is equal to KZ squared by R. We know that R is directly proportional to Oh, my bad. R is directly proportional to n squared by z, I guess. n by z squared? 
n squared by z. Okay, I was doing n cubed by z. I'm sorry. So if it's r shape n squared by z, then it should be n power of minus three. R is proportional to n squared by z, whereas um, velocity v is inversely proportional to n. Okay. Oof. Can rope thrown over pulley has a ladder with man mass m on one side and a counterbalance mass m. Okay. Velocity center mass. This is m going upwards. Uh, Mm. Mind climbs with a velocity of VR and to that, ignoring the mass of blue. Rope thrown over play has a ladder. Uh, rope thrown over a play has a ladder. Man comes with velocity VR to ladder, ignoring the mass of pulley, the rope. Uh, downwards we have mg, we also have mg here, velocity of center of mass of the system. Oh, I do not remember this topic. No, I'll come back to this later. Um, particle moves with speed v in a circle of radius r. The particle ranges from a to b as shown in figure the by component of average velocity. Oh God, okay. So our velocity from A to B is what? So we V is equal to the circumference covered pi R. Hmm. This is covered by time. Time. Well, why would? Oh, okay. Like what I remember is that velocity it's not zero obviously, and when it reaches from A to B, your velocity would be in this direction, and it would be like this. Okay. And here we have 90 degree angle and the 30 degrees will come something like, oh God damn. The Y component. Y component. Y component. Y component will be sine of 30. So some V, whatever the V is. Okay. Average, so the average V here, sine 30. V by two. I don't know this. Okay. Okay, okay, I, know, I think I know so. At time t is equal to zero horizontal disk, start rotating with it. And back in the center. Small. 
So when the frictional force is more than the centrifugal force. So uh, let's see here. A mu SMG, so zero point. But we don't know the mass of the. Oh. So mm -hmm. when it's rotating, the MA is nothing but R alpha in this case. So M R alpha acting outwards should be greater than the mu SMG. Mu SMG. MM to cancel over. R alpha is equal to mu SG. I'll share this and I'll share this. Should I convert A into T or something? Because we're trying to find T. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to do five percent. Can Galvin five percent of the program pass through it? There isn't the Galvin to G and shunt is S. Anderson S is good. Bye. Well, I know this one. This one is nothing but I is equal to I current flowing through is nothing but G by G plus S into I. I G. G by G plus S into I. So we're giving it's given that 5% of current is passing through it. I by 20. S is equal to 19 G. Sorry, G is equal to 19 S. S is equal to 19 G. No, no, no. Sorry. S is equal to G by 19. Uh, okay, a thin semicircular conducting ring is one of them. The potential difference developed. Oh, God, okay. Oh, okay. This is, oh man, it's been so long. Ago. Um, if our ring is falling, we have to take it as it's, we have to take this effective as a pi r, pi r, and it's falling with v downwards. So q b b is going in this way. So QVB 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 so this is pi r pi r QVB uh, pi r BV and here since it's going the current will be going from Q to M Q is at higher potential A hollow charge metal sphere has a radius r. If the potential difference between surface and at a point at a distance 3r is v, 
and I think it is really busy. You have no centers. G is equal to V is equal to V is equal to Q by R, whereas uh, Q by three R. Yeah, electric field intensity is that Q by nine R squared. So V by three R should be answered. Yeah. I guess one bigger reading voltmeter V one is. Voltmeter is V1 when S is S one is closed. When S1 is closed, uh we only have four R effective resistance. Okay. So uh V is equal to IR me. Here it is nothing but three by four of the actual current point. Three by four to the connection current point, and when S one is closed, when only S two is closed, when only S two is closed, then it is six by seven of the total current point. Then when both S one and S two are closed, the effective of uh, three into six by nine two R, so it's two by third of the effective current. Oh, so zero point seven I, zero point six I, six by seven to almost some. 0.8ish i plus i so v2 greater than v1 greater than v3 so this is on a plus q minus q inside the cavity of the spherical cell is going to be an on opposite sides of Q is the charge on it. Okay. Flux. So the flux. Okay. So because of plus Q charge here. The plus Q charge. Uh, on a minus Q charge on the inner surface. The opposite charges, opposite charges get induced on the inner sphere, inner sphere, on this one. So sigma one is equal to zero, q one is equal to zero. Whereas for q two, I feel that means opposite charges will get induced. Okay. Well, I think that it will be because it opposite charges get induced. Um, what will the flux be? What could you know? Assuming uh, to be a radius r of g dash is one. I know this. This is how this formula is. It's told us some. Um, if we take the cos square, m r. MR squared omega. Okay. And here we take cos squared theta. No, sine squared theta. MR omega squared sine squared theta. Um, so the MR squared, MR omega squared. 
1 omega squared sin squared theta. Or cos theta. I don't know sin theta. I think no, it's cos theta. Cos theta. Cos squared theta. So m r omega squared into the root of 3 by 2 whole squared. Uh, this is 3 by 4. So you subtract g minus of g dash. So here your g is. Uh, here your g is nothing but r omega squared r omega squared minus three by four r omega squared. So here, the basically here what happens is um, the centrifugal force m r omega squared is outwards. So that will, if you take the cos theta of that, because latitude is 30 degrees, if you take the cos theta of that component, you have a mr squared omega squared cos squared theta going outwards and your mg is balancing it. It's holding it towards the earth. So your mg is equal to mr squared omega, uh, mr omega squared cos squared theta. So then if you subtract those two, you get one by fourth omega squared r. Do what the question asked. Oh man, it's been a while since I did this. Changing out definition, you know, point from taking from origin to a point seven minus three. Okay, so this is easy. You just have to check x component may kitna change or y component may kitna change. And there's and never a negative work done. So even if you're taking it downwards or up way, way, way there. Yeah. I thought it's scalar, right? So it doesn't really matter. It's just the displacement that matters. Uh because we're getting 35 work, 35 joules of work done in the X direction, Y direction there, we're getting minus 36. Work done can mean. Resolve it. So V is equal to integral EDR. B is equal to integral EDR. Mm -hmm. oh, minus CJ. Well, according to this, you're getting one joule. You because, okay, B is equal to minus E integral of EDR. If you subtract, if you get that, you get minus 35 joule work done and plus 30, 36 work done. So plus one joule, 36 minus 35. Oh, oh damn it. So next. Whoa, whoa, which one's 36? Don't know. Oh, In the valent, the maximum density of radiation emitted by sun and moon or this one, the ratio of temperature. Lambda is the inversely proportional one by D. So according to that, we have to answer the question here. So lambda of sun by lambda of moon. So you want to do TS of sun by TS of moon, right? Do TM by TS. TM here is uh, 10 power minus four. Sorry, lambda M by lambda S. Lambda M here is 10 power minus four. Um, where this is 0 0.5, 10 power minus six. Or we can do this as, 10 power 2 into 10 power minus 6. And 0 0.5 into 10 power minus 6. It's in the number 200. 200 is to 1. Yeah. 143 calories of heat energy supplied to a gas. Its internal energy rises. Uh, Q delta Q is equal to delta U plus and NRT. 
delta n r t. So here we're saying 143 calories is uh, or plus p delta p, that's your word. If the pressure remains constant and is equal to the same thing, okay. So it's internal energy raised by fan of joules. So we want to convert the calories into joules. Uh, let me do that. Uh, one joule is equal to 4.2 calories. One joule is equal to 4.2 calories, right? No, one calorie is equal to 4.2 joules. Oh, okay. So you want to convert 143 calories, 143 into 4.2. Which is roughly about one calorie per liter. So 143 into 4.2. Let's just take it as four. That's roughly about 600 joules. 600 minus 500 is equal to delta n r t. Not p delta v. Where p is constant. 10 power 2 is equal to 10 power 5 delta v. Uh, Here we're getting 10 power 3 liters is your delta V. No, delta V is 10 power minus 3 meter cube. 10 power minus 3 meter cube. Uh, now we know that 1 kg is how many. So we need to know how much liters is converted into. I think this is that 1 liter is equal to 10 power minus 3 meter cube because 1 ml is equal to 1 cc. 1 ml is equal to 1 cc. So that means 10 power minus 3 liters is equal to uh, 10 power minus 6 meter cube. That means, yeah, so it's 1 liter. Because you can have a minus 3 meter cube, uh, the volume change. Um, what happened? Okay. A bar magnet has coercivity for it under the H. It's designed to be the it's uh, ni, n by l i. H is equal to n l, uh, h is equal to n i in case of this one. So four into 10 power three is n by l, number of turns 60 by 12 centimeters, 12 into 10 power minus two into i. Five, five into 10 power two. Cancel, cancel, I is equal to 40 by 5, 8 amperes. That is equal to Ni per solenoid. Where N is number of turns per length. That's the main thing you remember here. Oh, oof, okay. Inverted bell lying at the bottom of the lake. Forty seven point six meters deep. That's fifty centimeters of air trapped inside of it. The bell is brought, brought to the surface of the lake, then how much the trapped air be? Um but because here PV is constant, so P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. So, uh, first, at outside, uh, we have P pressure, which is assuming that One ATM. I think one ATM. I think, okay, okay. They've given it. They've given the units when you should solve the question. So we should go ahead according to that. So 70 cm HG. So 70. We're solving it in turn of centimeters. Uh, nee. 70 into 10 power minus 2 in meter HD. Uh, into volume of the air, some X C hoga, uh, plus H70. Uh, into 10 power minus 2 plus 47 hrog 47.6 into rho which is 13.6 g per centimeter cube into uh, 
Okay, let's just convert it to CM and then finally we'll get. Uh, anyways, the answer is in CM, so we don't need to type up our stream. Into 15. Okay, so we're getting 70x is equal to 47.6 into 13.6. Oh, uh, into G, right? And here we have to take G as 980, I guess because we're taking the customary value. Uh, 980 dimes, 980 into, uh, what is the first 47.6 into 13.6, sets row. Uh, oh, no, 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 but you have to convert it. Oh, okay. Oof. You have to convert the 47 points. This is 47, six, Four seven six zero. Four seven six zero into thirteen point six is number four seventy six into one thirty six. Four seven six into one thirty six. This is mm, okay. Plus seventy. Okay, we got some value here. Into oh okay okay shit shit shit. Uh, four seventy four seven four forty seven point six four seven six zero into the row into G G is in case of customary values. Uh, we have to use dines, right? Nine eighty. So I did that. So I'm getting some no, I'm getting bigger function we can have. Acha. Why am I converting? I don't need a converting to HOG, right? I don't need to do that. Because listen, I'm converting because you're doing 70 centimeters actually you now. No, but then what? Atmosphere pressure 70 X is equal to. 70 plus uh, the height of water port so 0.6. Oh no, but then you have to convert that as well. Achha. Because here we're doing lake, right? That's different. We'll come back to this later. We spent too much time on the solution. Uh, magnet needle free to rotate in a house of the the center. A circular current carrying coil with axis perpendicular to magnetic meridian at that place. Uh, so QBB, it will go this way. Magnetic equation at this place is zero. And the magnetic needle is pointing towards northwest. Northwest. Now if we reverse the direction of current coil, that will be in the opposite direction. So it will become southeast. Right, it should be reverse. If like we use the circular, uh, hand rule. Many you you to place an original plane is the perpendicular to the axis. The axis itself is perpendicular. Okay, BH is this way. Mm. 
the man in red and all his points towards north the upper region uh, okay this is So no current to be ever induced in the frame. The speed along which it should be pulled is, well, here we have BIL. BIL is equal to your force. Um, B naught by one plus KT into I. Where is A? Acha, so we're changing it by direction. The length, length is B. The velocity. QBB, can you do B? Mm, we have BAL is equal to QBB, I guess. This is why you should do it. But here, there's no Q now. Because no charge which gets induced, because BAL, BAL is the force. Um, uh, is the force, so, yeah. Many moments, many moments, the third excited state. Okay, so we're going to third excited state. First we have, it jumps, makes a jump from one to two, one to two. Three and then one, two, four. Third like I said is nothing but the fourth three. Uh, one to two, one to three, one to four, three. What it a mass fifteen or twenty one Charge penetrating on the water thickness on optical generation of 2.5 into the atmosphere is pretty good. Okay, yeah, so um, so you are converting conserving to the momentum. No wonder we're not conserved here because we're not going to do this. What is it? What is it? Long. No, they turn me long. Traveling with speed of sample. Remove 20. 
20, the relative speed is 12.5. Mm, and it should cover how much distance? It should cover, it should cover, question to completely overtake the second, it should cover 20 meters here, 200 meters here, as well as this thousand. So, twelve point five into eight. Eighty six. Find altitude speed, and according to that, I'm sorry, question. So it's covering overall two hundred and eight hundred thousand uh, thousand meters. And the relative speed is so far that same direction. Picture. Okay. F force pull this way. 30 degrees, 30 degrees. This is M, M. Direction, acceleration is A here. 30, A here. The acceleration of each particle towards each other. F is equal to 2m a. a is equal to f by 2m. And here we want to do f by 2m. Cos 30. So to three FM should be your answer. F is equal to two M A. Nee, nee, nee. Just because we're pulling the center of this. Okay. Due to which this is M A and this is M A. Acceleration of each particle towards each other should be a cos 30. A cos 30. Two, three, five, five. Half lives of two data elements, 2048 in this. After 80 minutes, the ratio of decay numbers. Okay, so uh, how many half lives? This is pretty easy. Uh, so A will have four half lives. B will have one half, two half lives. So it'll become four half lives two by sixteen, two by four is sixteen, and two half lives comatlab and then four. So and then cancel four sixteen minus two four. Four, um, the mass did that have three alpha particles. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's okay. Uh, electrons with the equivalent lambda fall on target to the cutoff wavelength of uh, the emitted x rays. Uh, let's see, lambda is equal to.
lambda is equal to h by mv. That is your son h by here your son is h by mc. Then the lambda naught, which is the cutoff wavelength, is it should be mc. Or h by mv. Hmm. Okay, okay, this is 157, no, Triangle springs are connected series and parallel as shown. Okay, series may, uh, mg is equal to your kx, kx, mg is equal to 2kx, second case may, first case may, mg is equal to k by 2x. Because it's arrangement. Cube root of eight thousand. Ah, uh, small r capital R is equal to cube root of eight thousand r. I think this is twenty you now. Twenty to twenty to twenty eight thousand. So r is equal to twenty r. Uh, initial surface energy. Surface energy. Surface energy is given by sigma is directly proportional to r. Get one by twenty. Okay, mark for you and so to soon unknown about mass m1 and m2 and given m1 is equal to m2 and m1 is equal to Babel and is both the same, which the following is correct. So, uh, if L1 is longer than L2, which is saying amplitude, well, the amplitude is basically the displacement from the center, right? If it has the shorter length, then it has a greater amplitude. So, here uh, we're given that the first case or A has a greater length. You can say that amplitude B is greater than that. Oh, wait. Amplitude. Yeah, amplitude B. Adiabatic modulus elasticity. What is isothermal? Uh, we have to divide by gamma. C by gamma. K by gamma. Gamma, gamma K is equal to K dash. K dash here is 2.1. 2. 1 by 1.4. 
Okay. Put Manolo number four. No, 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 wait. It is, it is gamma, right? Gamma CP by V is equal to 2.1. So CP by CP is number 2.1 by 1.4. 2.1 by 1.4. 2.1 by 1.4, nothing but 3 by 2. So 1.5. Found that electromagnetic signals sent from A towards B reach point C. The speed of electromagnetic signals cannot be what? Okay, so. Forty-five degrees. So uh, here, the signal, whatever the signal strength is, uh, it is getting divided by root two. And for the signal to actually make it to there, it should be so. It's the critical angle here is forty-five degrees. So sine c, which is one by root two. Okay, so that is one by two. So the sign C the signal strength. So whatever it is, it should be greater than or that that equal to sign C. One by sign C, sorry. It should be the signal should be greater than or equal to one by sign C. Which is greater than or equal to one by one by root two root two. Uh, so it cannot be one into ten power A go. Using three by root two, three by one point four one four. Three by root two. Should we get the equal to that? Uh, three by two, three by root two, three by one point four one four, so thirty by fourteen. Some two ish, two to ten power. Uh, hmm. Two point one five ish into ten power eight. Okay. So it should be uh, to be reaching there. It should be less than or equal to. Okay, then that equal to 2.51 ten power eight is the electromagnetic signal. Less than that, so it should be this. Should be less than that or equal to. Sorry. The ratio of moment to inertia about z and z dash axis. Well, for this one, thin circular disk given. This Kelly we say m r squared by two. And uh, about the dash, it's mr squared by two plus mr squared. It is three mr squared by two. So it's nothing but one is to three. So mr squared by two in Combination of below gates. Okay, so this is this features as an uh, uh, NAND gate, I guess. No, this is not a NAND gate. This is uh, NAND gate was the gate, and this is NAND. So A, so A not. This features an A not, and B not. So A not and B not, not of that NAND. Okay, that's the NAND of A not and B not is A or B. 
it is it is yeah a r b nothing a and b and it is a and it's not nand gate it is not a not gate it's not as uh, it's a or gate or it is not or gate it's a or gate you know e not mm it's not a not gate i guess this is or gate nand gate or gate it's not is it a not gate could be i guess is or the name which is not sure okay mm, this is easy so here a is coming down with g sin theta and b is coming down with okay so i mean technically both coming down with g called g sin g sin 30 G sin sixty. Ah, uh, technically both are facing relative equation G, so it will be zero. Both are facing G downwards. So, oh no no no, zero. The quantities A and B are related by relation. M is equal to A by B, but M is related to density. A is the force. Dimensions of B are ah uh, linear density. Linear density. Linear density something lambda m by l a mass by length is equal to a force force is nothing but m l t power minus two m a so m l t power minus two and that means the b we're meant to find out b is equal to m l t power minus two by m into l. And then cancel. We get L squared t power minus two. L squared t power minus two. It's not dimensions of. I mean, just the B or what? I mean, cancel L squared T power minus two. Um, B ka dimensions. I don't think it's there. Work. It's not work. It's not pressure. It's not latent heat. Latent heat is not given. Latent heat. It's not L squared T power minus two. It's not in the book. Because latent heat is what? Latent heat is ML is equal to some Q. Q is nothing but technically work done. Work done is force and it's a ml square. Oh, ml squared t power minus two. Okay, let me need. Sorry, that is let me need. I just uh, um l. Let me take a l one alpha one delta t. That's the expansion. L two alpha two delta. So the difference in length to be same. That means expansion should be same. So L one alpha one delta three is equal to L two alpha two delta three, which is that. This is a theory question, so it should be pretty easy. In a given region, ten fringes observed in the fact if the fringes are similar, it's another fringe. Ah, fringes. It's given by it's the Young's double slit experiment. I don't remember exactly, but N one lambda one is equal to N two lambda two, as I remember. So, 
10 is equal to 6,000 into n. 1,000, 1,000, 4, 42, 42, minus 7. N1, N1 lambda 1 is equal to n2 lambda 2. Light propagates 2 centimeters in a class of reflective index 1.5 in time T naught. The same time T naught. Uh, like probably at the distance of 2.25 centimeters in the medium. Okay, D by D, D by D. Uh, how do I do this? Two centimeters by T naught So I think uh, the refracting index. Uh, so if we are assuming like it will travel mu C, right? In that distance. So 1.5 into C is two by T naught. Uh, mu x is on present. So then the mu x of this mu x or the uh, mu c, mu c is the velocity. And here we have some mu, which we have to find out into c. Divided, t naught, t naught cancel, 1.5 by mu is equal to c, c cancel, uh, 2 by 2.25. Um, Okay, mu by 1.5, mu is equal to 3 by 2.25 into 4 per day. <sighs> 12 by 10. Hmm. I'm not getting any option. Which is it? So mu x is equal to two. The same mu dash x is equal to two point two five. Okay. In some time t, uh, it travels two into uh, one one point five into two. And in the same time t, it travels some mu into 2.25, 1.5 into 2 by 2.25. I'm getting, yeah, I'm getting 3 by 2.25, which is nothing but 9 by 2, 9 by 4. I'm getting 12 by 9, which is nothing but 4 by 3. 3 by 2.25, right? Okay. So here mu x is the displaced, like uh, how much time it travels. And at the same time, it travels mu x in one medium, another one is mu dash x. Uh, hmm. 10 beats in three seconds, the frequency f. Uh, number of beats 10 by 3 frequency 10 by 3 frequency is equal to n1 minus n2 
Uh, here n one is nothing but uh, n one frequency. See by lambda. So V into one by L one minus one by L two. Uh, one by one by one by one point zero one, or you can do it by thing like hundred by hundred minus of hundred by one zero one. We get zero point zero one by one point zero one, but nothing but one by one. One not one, so v by one not one is equal to ten by three. V is equal to one zero one zero by three. One zero one zero by three is nothing but three thirty six point three, I guess, around. So here we're just doing beats. Okay, uh, the beats is nothing but the frequency. Ten by three is equal to n one minus n two. So like should I solve the whole test? Like I mean I'm I didn't know that I was going to be doing the whole test, but huh? T I could do it a bit till probably seven maybe till seven forty five ish. Like do you want me? I didn't understand. Okay, should I do the whole? Like this the like does the score matter? I mean I could get most of the questions. Um. Okay, take. I'll just finish what is remaining. Uh, I'll try finishing by. Uh, 